What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I just got done working out and just had a really nice leg day. And now I'm going to attempt to take both of my dogs on a walk for the very first time ever. But I wanted to show you guys the new collar and leash I got in the mail today from Amazon for Honey. This is the collar that I got her. I think it's very cute. It's like a mint color with like gold hardware on it. I ordered a size large because I didn't want to have to order a bigger size when she grows because she's literally gonna be probably twice the size she is now next week. What are you doing? Don't throw up. But yeah, so this one's too big right now. So she has Granger's old one on right now. And that collar also came with a really interesting leash. This leash can go so many different ways. It has a hook right here and a hook right here. And it has like two clasps things on the end so honestly I don't know I'm very confused by it so I know you can use it for like a double leash so you can hook one onto each dog and then like somehow do this you can make it just a one leash and just have a handle right here but I really needed a double one because eventually she's gonna be big enough to go on walks and we're just gonna try today I don't remember ever having to like leash train Granger I don't know I feel like I don't remember any of Granger's puppyhood is that what you call it puppyhood I don't know like I feel like he just did it like I don't remember potty training him that was only three years ago too but now that I want to go on a walk sister's over here sleeping honey 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 do you want to go on a walk do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to try to go on a walk? Come here. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. Here, I'm gonna put this one on you. She hates her leash. I put it on her a few days ago just to get her used to it. I took it off by the end of the day just cause I felt like she hated it. And then I just put it on again today and she just does not care for it. It's still a little too big. She's like, what is going on now? I don't know. I'm not even gonna try to make it a little smaller. I don't think she's gonna get out of it, but I'm gonna put it on her. <gasps> what is this? Don't bite it. See, that's the thing I'm worried about. She's gonna bite it. She bites everything. Look, we're gonna go on a walk. Let's go on a walk. She's like, what the heck is this thing? Granger, come here. So I guess you just do it like this. Sit. Hey, I'm trying not to get this twisted. Could you stop, please? Hello, this is not for eating. I guess this is how you do it. This doesn't seem right. This does not seem right. Let me look it up on Amazon, the picture of how they did it. Dog. Dog, you're not getting out of this, so stop. This six-in-one dog leash can be adjusted to five different lengths. Short leash, medium leash, long leash, double leash, shoulder leash, and a hands-free leash. Brother, how do I do the double leash? Oh, maybe like this. Maybe I have to put it through here. Oh, that seems way better. There we go, there's one. There we go, there's two. Is this gonna work? Oh, this is way better. Okay, let's try this. So oh, that lasted long. <laughs> we literally made it to our front yard and she escaped. I don't think she's gonna get out of it. I guess I do need to tighten this. Come on, come on. You act like a horse or a bull. This is not working out too well. Oh, there we go. There we go. Did you just have to get a stick? Oh, that, this is not gonna work. There's a pole right there. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. This is how it's currently going. Come on. Sister, come on. Good girl. We're just walking up and down the street a few times because that's as far as we're gonna go. I had to take Granger off because I was like choking him. Come on, we're walking. We're learning how to walk on a leash. Come on. Are you over it? You gotta learn so you can go on walks with me and Bubba's. So that was an absolute fail. Um, we literally lasted like four minutes. We walked up and down the street one and a half times before I finally just let them both off and then we came back home. I'm gonna try doing it with her sometime when Jared's home so I don't have to leave Granger here by himself when I go for a walk because that would just break my mama heart because Bubba loves walks. That's our bonding time, huh? But just today was not our day.
Okay, so it's much later now. To be honest, I just had a very chill night. After we went on a walk, came back in and took a shower, had a little post-workout meal, and then laid on the couch and edited for a bit, made supper, and then went back on the couch and watched three episodes of Emily in Paris. Now I'm just about to do my night routine. Let me just throw this up because it's gonna get in the way. I was gonna share with you guys, the other night I exfoliated my face and it felt so freaking good. Like I forgot how much I loved this product. I haven't used it in forever. It's the Hey Honey Come Clean Facial Scrub. I got this in a BoxyCharm box so long ago. I'm glad I remembered about it. Why are you whining? Do you want down? Or do you want to say hi to the vlog? Say hi, did you feel left out? You're so cute. Okay, denying my kisses. But anyway, I'm gonna use this tonight and I just wanted to like show you guys it because I've been loving it. Another thing that I was gonna tell you guys about, I was watching, I think her name's Michelle Reed. I can't really remember. I was watching one of her vlogs the other day. So she had like this sponsored post, I think it was sponsored by Aldi Self Care, I think. It's basically like this website that you just like fill out the survey and tell them like what your face is like, what you're looking for your face to be like. Like for me, I just said I wanted help with with some acne and like dark spots and scarring and stuff and it's this company that they like build your own personal skincare plan for you meaning like you put on there how much you want to spend per month or whatever and then how long you want your routine to be and then they like take that information and they go out and like look through all the products like available through all the stores and then like send you recommendations of what you should be using for what your skincare goals are and stuff so I I actually did that because I was just like curious to see what they were recommending for me you also have to fill in like what you're using previously and then I'll show you guys what they told me so this is the website I don't know if I pronounced it right it's right up here they sent me a little email and they gave me like a breakdown of what I'm already using now so they said that out of everything that I put in there that I've been using they would recommend me to stop using this CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion the AM one I have a PM one but they didn't say the PM one they just said the AM but I'm guessing because it has something to do with the sunscreen because the PM one doesn't have the sunscreen in there but they said we started by looking at your current products we never want you to toss your skincare and start from scratch it's too wasteful so we've built a routine based on what's already on your bathroom shelf however you probably want to switch your CeraVe AM moisturizer see notes below so the CeraVe product it said consider switching not sure how much of this product you have left but wanted you to know it contains parabens Parabens are a type of preservative used to prolong shelf life on your skincare. Stop chewing on the cord. No. However, now there is enough research that tells us parabens can be toxic, meaning they can disrupt your body's normal hormonal balance and potentially lead to cancer. Many parabens are banned in Europe, so they just would recommend me switching that one, which I also put in there that I use the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser, so it must literally just be something with the sunscreen in that because they they said that this one was fine too, so I don't know. And they said that in looking at my routine, the main gap seems to be exfoliation, which is why I started doing this again. But I mean, I don't typically use an exfoliator. Sometimes I'll just use the exfoliation little attachment thing, but I don't specifically use like an exfoliation product until the other night. They said, in addition, we could up your game by adding a few products. They will complement your current products and your routine will work much harder in helping your acne, dark spots, and acne scars and oily. But now I just wanted to like show you like what they recommended for me, which I'm like kind of debating on getting. So I picked my routine length or how many products. I wanted it like five minutes and under because anything over that, I'm out. So they said in the morning I can use my acne foaming cream cleanser. And then they suggested this OSHA. I don't know how to say that. It's a oil control moisturizer. That was the second thing in the morning routine that they recommended me. And I like it because you can like add it to the bag and like I guess just pay right off the site which is kind of cool now that's $48 that's a really pricey I don't know if I'm gonna get that probably not and then the last step for the morning routine that they recommended for me was the Elta M 
the UV Clear Broad Spectrum Moisturizer or Sunscreen, which I'm not surprised because this is such a popular product. I feel like everybody I watch uses this. I might get this because I've been debating on it honestly for a while. And then that's it for my morning routine. Like three simple steps is what they recommended me and I could get down with that. I could really get down with that. And then for the evening, they recommend me this Oil to Foam Gentle Cleanser. It's by Real Body, I guess. I've never seen that or heard of that brand, I guess. <laughs> the note that they put on there, it says, not sure if you've tried an oil cleanser before, but it's kind of game changing. When this one's not too expensive, it's only $24. So I'm kind of really thinking about getting this one as well. And then they suggested that I use some Prism Exfoliation Serum. It's a really pretty bottle, but I don't want to pay the price for this because it is pricey. This bottle is $54 and mm, just no. I have my exfoliation right here, so I just think I'm going to use that instead. And then they they recommend that I use that OSHA blemish balm again. So yeah, like very minimal products I feel like, and they sound helpful, so I'm kind of leaning towards like trying out a few. But yeah, I just want to give you that update because that's a really cool website I feel like. This isn't sponsored by anyway, but I will leave that website down in the description box if you guys want to try it out. Take your own little quiz and see what they recommend for you or like can give you notes and feedback on what you're already using. That would be pretty cool. So I just washed my face and now I'm gonna use my exfoliation stuff. I just put that much in my hand and this is the texture that it looks like. It's like got little beads in it if you can see it and it's like pretty thick. And honestly it smells so good. You can see like how it applies on your face which is part of the exfoliation. You just rub it on your face, rub it in. I just do this for like a good like 20 seconds. And then you like get your hands a little wet and then you rub it in again and see how it like turns to like a, a lotion almost. This feels so good. And then once you got it pretty much rubbed in, you can wash it off. And then I always dry my face with paper towels. My face always is so red after I do this, but it feels literally the softest that I've ever felt my skin before. The other night when I did it, I caught myself laying in bed just like rubbing my face because it was so soft. It didn't even feel real. And then I put the Saturday Skin Vitamin C Sleep Mask on. As you see, I did get a new one and I'm so excited. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Oh my goodness. I just rub that in my face. It literally feels so soft and glowy. This is a lot. I put way too much on. This feels so soft souped up in this now. And then lastly, of course, putting on my lip sleeping mask to make my lips glow as much as my face because I'm very glowy. And yeah, there we go. There is my exfoliation nighttime routine. Feels so good. As you can see, I'm very glowy. Don't mind the dark spots and scarring. My face looks so good. This is the best I've been able to get my face to look without taking like medications ever in my whole life. So I'm a happy girl here. Yeah, uh, it is now 8.56. All I'm gonna do is get my butt to my bed, turn on some TV for some background noise. Jared will be home like within the next hour and I'm just gonna lay in bed and edit until he gets here probably. So I'll see y'all in the morning. What's up guys? It's the next day. I'm just letting the puppies out to go potty. I think Jared and I are gonna run to town and go to like Menards or something to look for like a bathroom shower kit thing. Like, you know, like a shower head, the little faucet, and then like the actual thing that turns the water on. I don't know what those are called. Oh, Bubba's in the background taking a big old dump. That's cute. Yeah, I just figured I'd start the vlog today. I just got ready after work real fast and threw on a little cute outfit just a little run and errands outfit jared's like currently on the phone talking to like one of his buddies that was in our wedding i do kind of want to make something to eat real fast before we leave but i don't know i don't really feel like making anything so i don't know y'all i swear this dog does not ever want to go inside get inside oh i guess i just have to vlog about it and complain about it and she listens but we just spent like 10 minutes out there trying to chase each other around so she'll come inside you need to listen and come inside when it's time to come inside you understand do you understand you need to be a good girl. We don't live outside. I know you like it, but we have to be inside sometimes. Let's see if she'll go in here. Go! <laughs> oh, look at that. Vlogging is the magic trick. 
Hello. It is clearly the next day. We went to town and got, what do you want? What do you want? Why do you have to be up in my business all the time? Anyway, we went to town last night to Menards and Lowe's and looked at some options for like shower set stuff and we just couldn't find anything really. And I forgot that I was vlogging. You're in my way, miss. Mom is trying to make her breakfast. But I just forgot I was kind of vlogging and then we weren't really finding anything. So what I remembered, I was like, what's the point of vlogging? Because we literally didn't find anything. Then we just came home and I made dinner, laid on the couch. We watched some Orville and I did some editing. And then Jared worked on the bathroom a little bit afterwards too, which it's almost freaking done. It just sucks because he works so much that it's taking way longer than what we expected it to. And since he put the grout on pretty much all at once, it's dried so it's like harder to take off. So he's having to do so much more work to get it off. I'll just give you an update on that here in a bit. But it is currently 8.46. I'm just making some breakfast. Why are you wet? <sighs> this girl. Yeah, I'm just working right now. Oh, I forgot my fruit. And I thought I should update you guys since I literally only vlogged for like two minutes last night. But yeah, we're gonna get back to it today after I get done working. I need to work out, which I really don't want to. I'm so freaking tired. I was up like three times in the middle of the night with her because one, she just would not lay down. She was literally like running around on the bed like a crazy person. I had to take her out twice in the middle of the night and usually we only have to take her out once. So it was just just a lot. But I also have to post my video today. And surprise, surprise, I am not done editing my video. Run, fun, fun, honey. Honey, get down. You are crazy. Leave me alone. Here, look some peanut butter. Oh my God, you guys, I took the funniest video of honey. I've shown you guys this before, like a long time ago. I make Granger's treats out of peanut butter. I just put them in like a little dog, like an ice tray thing, and I freeze it. And I gave her one for the first time. It was like a half size one. And she looked so funny. Like it was like stuck to the roof of her mouth. And so she, her tongue was constantly just like, I don't know, it's funny. I'll like put it right here so you guys can see it. It was so cute, but she hasn't had one since because that was a lot for her. I feel like she might be a little too young for that much amount of peanut butter and especially frozen. So I've been putting this date syrup on my oatmeal that I got in my last vlog that I posted. I don't know that I like love it. I just feel like I can't really taste it, I guess. But I still do it because I got it. And just like that, my little gourmet oatmeal breakfast is finished and ready to be eaten. So I was trying to do a fun little working montage but our system is frozen and it's just been really slow all week honestly i always watch a show or something while i work and like for the past few months i've been re-watching the keeping up with the kardashians and i think i'm on like season 11 bruce just like had his transformation turned into caitlin it's just so weird to like see everything replay out again like knowing how it ends now especially with the whole kim and kanye thing like right now she's pregnant with saint they're second baby they're just like so in love and everything but like in real life today like if you guys have kept up on any of that like it is a extreme battlefield between the two of them right now with their divorce and everything and Kanye's just kind of gone off the wall with everything so it's just so crazy to see how things used to be versus what they are now I've been frozen for like 45 minutes which happens probably once a week to be honest but you know it is what it is so yeah I'm just gonna finish my breakfast and continue watching some keeping up with the K so it is much later now. I'm just chilling, sitting out here on the front porch. It's so freaking nice out and the dogs love being out here so I figured I would just come out here and edit. I just made a little peanut butter banana shake. All my honey's sitting at the bottom. Honestly, I was gonna work out right after work but I was like falling asleep at my desk because I was so tired so I was just trying to listen to my body and I decided that I needed a little nap which I never nap but I took an hour nap and then I was going to finish my vlog and get it up today before I even picked up the camera, but oh my gosh, she's so funny. <laughs> Honey, get out of there. Honey, no, no, we don't eat that. No, we don't eat that. But yeah, I wanted to get my video up and edited before I even picked up the camera today, but you know, this is a reality sometimes. I just don't get everything done that I want to. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish editing my video, get it up, and then probably go on a walk. What are you doing, honey? No. 
So we are currently on a walk right now. Still not done with my video, but I decided that I needed to get up and get some movement in because I have done nothing but sit all day long. And it's so nice outside that Granger needed a walk. I needed a walk. So that's what we're doing. I got done editing, but I just started exporting my video and then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and I still have to think of thumbnail and everything for that. But yeah, um, hold on, I'm out of breath. But I used this leash that we got the other day for honey. I like just wrapped it around my waist and tied it to Granger. And it's nice because it's like hands free. And I like it, but I don't think he likes it because he keeps like choking himself and he wants to walk faster, but he can't. He also can't pee on everything he wants. But yeah, it's like 6.57. We're just on a little stroll. I don't know how long we're gonna walk for. Maybe our normal walk, which is like around 30-ish minutes. Maybe do only a good 20 minutes. I don't know. You can't walk in front of me because that, there's no room for that. Also, I'm so over. Ranger, you can't switch sides. This might not work out. But also, I'm so over myself, like taking 800 years, waiting till the last minute to edit my video and get it up. Like, I need to come up with a system to where I'm not doing that every single Wednesday and Sunday because it annoys the crap out of me. And then I don't get anything else done the rest of the day, so. What's up guys? Today is Thursday. After work, I just did some cardio, worked out, and then I showered. Now I'm drinking my post-workout smoothie. It's banana, honey, spinach, peanut butter, and protein. And then like my protein milk. It's really good. Don't judge it by its color. I literally can't taste the spinach. Now I'm just chilling, watching the NCAA tournament because it started today. And I did fill out a bracket and I am currently four out of six games correct. So that's good. Yeah. I think tonight's just gonna be a chill night. I don't really have a lot to do. I probably will edit, but not until later. I really did wanna like watch some Netflix or catch up on some of my shows, but when the NCAA tournament is on, like I just wanna watch it, which is so weird because I literally don't care about basketball during the regular season, but when it gets to the tournament, I don't know, it's fun to fill out a bracket and then, you know, keep track of all the games and watch all the upsets. I love watching upsets, but yeah. What else can I update you on? I feel like I had a lot to update you, but I can't remember anything. Honey, this morning when she was going out to potty, she, I don't even know, she wasn't like running really fast or anything. I think she might've just tripped over her own feet and she like fell down the concrete stairs in, on our porch and she like face planted it into the cement. I didn't notice anything like at first, but then like an hour later when she was inside, she was sleeping and I saw like a little red mark like right on her chin. She like skidded her chin and it made me so sad. I almost cried, but I think she She's okay. Oh, and then earlier too, she lays right under my desk when I'm working and I have like a wheelie chair and she was laying on her side and I like try to roll back really slowly so like I don't wake her up because as soon as she wakes up, I have to take her out potty. I try to be very sneaky about it. I was rolling back and I didn't realize it and I just kind of stopped because I was like to the point where I could get up without having to move back anymore. And she just started whining and I'm like, why is she whining? And I looked and my wheel was going across, like it was sitting on her ear. And I'm like, oh, Oh my god, how many times are you gonna get hurt today? I don't know, I just felt bad, but she's okay. She's over there taking a nap. Yeah, I did want to kind of maybe try doing my eyebrows tonight, like dyeing them using that beard dye that I got in my last vlog, but I'm kind of nervous. And I'm also feeling really lazy, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it. But yeah, at this point, I'm just like rambling on about nothing. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna chill on the couch, watch some basketball and catch up with you guys later. Okay, it's a little bit later. I just made some dinner. I literally was too lazy to make really anything. So I just made a bowl of that RX cereal that I got in my last vlog. Like I said, I didn't love it, but I'm still gonna eat it because I need to get it gone. And I added some of the PE Science vegan cinnamon protein in it because because one, I needed more protein, and two, maybe it'll make it taste a little better. But I wanted to show you guys while I was just laying on the couch, I finally made the TikTok that I've been, not TikTok, I don't have TikTok, the Instagram reel that I've been meaning to make for like weeks now, and it's so funny. I feel like it's funny. I'll show you guys. I can't talk right now, I'm doing bad dog shit. Fuck being good, I'm a bad bitch. I'm I just think that's so funny. I don't know why. She's not a bad dog, but she just has been caught doing a few bad things, like puppy things, but she really hasn't done them like consecutively. Like her digging out there was the first time that I've ever seen her digging and she hasn't done it since. Yeah, so I've been wanting to make that one and I have so many other like audios saved to make like other reels and stuff with my dogs, but I don't know. I'm just not like really big into TikTok and reels and stuff. I love watching reels. I just have never made one until like a few weeks ago, but 
we're getting the hang of it. This is a little better with the protein added, but it's kind of like a thick consistency now, so it's also kind of weird. While I was sitting here eating, she brought me this empty taco box from our recycle bin. She's so funny, the weirdest thing. She loves to play with it. Oh my God, I just had to chase Honey in the freaking rain because she is living up to that TikTok that I just made about her being a little shit. She never wants to freaking come inside and it is pouring rain outside and she was just doing freaking laps in the front yard and I would go to get her and she would like haul ass to the other side and this child, she's good but Ugh, she just never wants to come inside. But anyway, I'm about to like wash my face and everything and lay in bed. I think KU plays here soon. Not that I'm like a KU fan, but my husband is, so I figured I'll watch him. So yeah, gonna close out for tonight and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. What do you have to say for yourself? You're soaking wet. Do you have anything you would like to tell mama? Like an apology or anything? Oh, now you're just gonna lay cute and act all innocent? Look at this, you're soaking wet. And then we have my little angel. My little angel boy, yes, him is a good boy. He would never do that to mama, huh? He would never do that to mom. What are you doing? So today I am getting ready to attempt to dye my brows like I said yesterday. I was just too lazy to do it yesterday so I'm going to do it today. I'm nervous. I think I'm going to go to Carly Bible's YouTube video and watch and see how she does it because she like explains how she does it and I would just prefer to do it like her since she's actually putting it on her eyebrows versus the box putting it on their beard. Okay so with the kit you get a little tray, you get a color developer, a color base, and then the this brush thing, except she like mixes it with the brush but then applies it with a Q-tip. So she just takes a little bit of the color developer and puts, oh gosh, there's hair all over it. And puts like a little smudge and then she takes the actual color base and puts two little dots whoop, and she mixes them around. Okay, so I think I have it mixed well. Now I'm gonna take my Q-tip and go in on my hairs, which I'm so scared because I don't really have hairs out here so I don't know what to do. We're gonna figure it out. And she says she does one eyebrow at a time so that's helpful to know oh shit oh shit oh my god i'm making a mess she says it'll darken and then you it'll make it easier to go in and like clean up the areas that you don't want dyed oh my god i can see it literally getting darker already can you guys see that i don't know if i'm putting enough on honestly i don't know how long it's been sitting on my face we'll give it like another minute i guess so i'll go in and start like cleaning up the areas i don't want and now I'm just gonna wash it off with this washcloth. Why do I feel like that literally did nothing? <laughs> I guess it made them a little darker, but I kind of wanted it to like do my skin, I guess, out here so that it actually looks like I had eyebrows. I actually feel like this eyebrow looks so much better than this one. Maybe I need to go back in and redo this one. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I just threw on the quickest thing of makeup and I should have shown you guys my eyebrows before I filled them in. I honestly didn't even fill them in that much, especially this one because it, I actually have hair down here, but they actually looked pretty good not being filled in. I mean, this one I definitely had to because I literally have no hair on my tail, so it's just nothing. So I have to fill them in somewhat, but I honestly think they look pretty good. I like them. But now I'm gonna run to Walmart really fast. I just need to get a few things and I really want to look into getting an actual curling iron. Every time I curl my hair for like the past, I don't know, four years or something, I just use this wand thing. But I have been seeing so many people use an actual like curling iron with like a clamp and it just looks so good and so cute. So I wanna see if they have any. I think they do. I looked last time when I was like, oh, I'll just order one from Ulta, but the ones from Ulta are like double the price and I just don't want to spend a lot of money on it um, and I'm also gonna return that rack like that pan rack thing that I showed you guys in the last vlog because it's just not it I don't like it so really the only two options I'm seeing is this one by heritage it's a one and one fourth one but it's ceramic and I was kind of wanting titanium because that works really well with my hair but I do like this one I kind of want to try it but then there's this one also by wild primrose which is actually Cezanne here on YouTube this is her brand so I kind of want to try this one too. It's a one inch ceramic one as well which I wish it was titanium but I don't know maybe it'll work. Okay so very quick grocery haul or Walmart haul I guess. I just got some more sliced mushrooms, zucchini, liquid egg whites, 
And then I've really been into like toast and jelly or like a sourdough English muffin lately with jelly on them. And I'm honestly probably, I don't know, I feel like I wanna have French toast tonight since it's Friday and I can't have meat. But I really want to have like jelly, so I don't know. But I got two Smucker's natural jelly. I got a strawberry kind, which I just am about out of this kind in the fridge. And then I kind of wanted to try a blackberry. So I got a blackberry one. I have barely ate today, so I'm pretty sure I could have French toast and toast and jelly. I got some more bananas. Then lastly, I decided on this curling iron. I've never used more than a one inch curling iron, so I'm really interested to see how a one and one fourth one is going to hold with my hair. I really wanna test this out tonight because if it works, I'm gonna use it tomorrow for my friend's son's first birthday, and then I think me and Jared are going out to eat with his cousin and his wife. So yeah, I wanna test it out tonight. And then my thing that I returned, I got $16 back. So basically I got all my groceries for free. I just paid for this. But yeah, there's my quick little Walmart haul. Okay, dinner is done and it is a lot. Can we say carb city? I got some protein French toast. I made them with liquid egg whites and cinnamon and some of my Jordan skinny syrup and then put peanut butter on it and sugar-free syrup. I have two eggs and then a sourdough English muffin with that blackberry jam and it looks so good. And I also made a protein shake too because I need more protein. But yeah, this is my Friday night dinner in for Lent. But now let me taste test this jam because I've been dying. It's pretty good. Tastes like jam. It's a little more tart than the strawberry one, but it's still really good. Just been so obsessed with jelly lately. I don't know what it is. French toast. This, this slaps. This is exactly what I was needing. I wanted breakfast so bad. And this is hitting the spot. But I'm gonna eat my dinner and then I think I'm gonna try out my new curling iron, so. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You guys, I'm so excited. I just finally earned my $10 Amazon gift card on Fetch Rewards because I had 10,089 points after scanning my Walmart receipt. So I'm gonna get a $10 Amazon gift card. Holla. Okay, so I've been editing this video for a few days now and I forgot the other day that I told you I was gonna give you an update on our bathroom. It's almost done. Jared just has to go in with some of this stuff and get Get, like the little pieces that are still on the tile but it's looking so good of course Jared is at work right now he is working 5 30 to 1 30 a.m. so he did not get to work on it much today because he was kind of napping because he just got home from work today yeah it's taking much longer than what we thought it was gonna take just because he works so much but it's gonna look so good and it's turning out beautifully and exactly how he wanted it okay so I just came in my beauty room to do my curls and I already feel like we're not starting off on a great foot which I mean this isn't like a big issue or anything but it's just kind of like advertising so you feel like it would be pretty similar but to me this looks like it's black and then this is like gold if you can see that but when I got it out of the box this is gray and then this is like rose pink so I'm just like what don't really love that but we're gonna still try it out it's got a digital little thing so that's good turn it all the way up to the highest heat I need to go walk watch Olivia's video. She like did a YouTube video showing how she curls her hair. So I kind of need to go watch that and learn to see how she does it because it's not just like the technique that I used to use when I had this like in elementary school. So let me go watch that and I'll BRB. Okay so I curled my bottom layer and I don't feel like I'm doing it right or it's this curling iron that doesn't want to curl my hair. I even hairsprayed my hair before and that usually like makes my hair curl. This is just not doing it, but I'm gonna try it on another layer to see if that works better. Let's try on like a top layer. So basically you just take a piece of hair, you start at the top and you work your way. Look at 
that curl? It did nothing. <laughs> like, what the hell? See, this is a ceramic curling iron, and I knew I, I couldn't get a ceramic curling iron. Titanium curling irons just work the best for me. Okay, so I tried again, and that curl looks a lot better. But when I did the bottom layer, a curl turned out like that, too. And I feel like it just didn't hold. Like, that's my hair curled at the bottom layer. Where is the curl? There's no curl. <laughs> Let me try on this side. Well, that one didn't turn out terrible either. Let me try redoing this piece, see what it does. I don't know, now I feel like it's not working that bad. <laughs> Okay, so here is the first side done. Let me finish this side and I'll come back to you. So I curled my entire head and then I hairsprayed it and brushed it through like I typically do. And I get gorgeous curls when I do that. Look at this. Where's the curls? There's no curls. I have curls on my bangs, which I just recently curled those, but there's no curls. I just curled this whole entire side and there's nothing. Like, what the heck? I am not keeping that. I should have stuck to what I knew and I knew I couldn't do a ceramic curling iron because it doesn't hold my curls. And yeah, I do like the way it curled my like bangs though. If they stay, I don't know. I will be returning that tomorrow and I guess going to Ulta and getting the one that I was looking at. There's the conclusion on that. But that is where this video is going to end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure it was probably a longer video again, but I mean, that's kind of expected when I film for five days straight. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below what you want to see next. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile. Say bye, Bubbles. Tell them bye. Thanks for watching.